How to achieve your fitness goal to look sporty, healthy, and fit. Hiding in the dark, but we can see it through the lens that is catching us. So don't let it go. So, first and foremost, you need to set yourself a goal. A goal is important. Without the goal, you cannot move you know, forward. For me, my goal was simple. I want to get rid of you know, this with Tommy. So that's my goal. Your goal can be whatever you choose to be. If you want to lose weight, if you want to have a six pack, or if you want just to look good, or you want to get ready for summer so that you can look good in your summer dress, summer clothes, that's your objective. That's your goal. So set yourself a goal, number one. So after you have said, you know, you are your goal next step is to set a deadline any project need a deadline my deadline for example is end of june i give myself three months and during that three months i will see some results and then i will evaluate and move forward with my project of getting rid of this big tummy fat. So, set a deadline. You know what? Even life has a deadline. So, after setting your goal, setting a deadline, now you need to create a work plan. Work plan is the map. It's a road map which allows you to go from plan to place A, point A to point B. Without a work plan, procrastination will take hold of you. And when procrastination takes hold of you, you can do nothing. It's only laziness. So for me, my work plan. It's simple. What I'm gonna do just for the next two weeks is I'm just gonna go into gym, try to feel my way around, try to understand different machines, try to find to set the routine. You know why routine is important? Because routine creates habit, and habit the procrastination so draw your work plan i mean the beginning just set the routine for me so, your turn i want to get you all alone now and go hide away from the lights but i don't dare to i'm too fragile and for that i do so after creating your goal you set a deadline, you create a work plan. Next one, you need to find a system of accountability. What I mean is that someone that you know that you are accountable to answering uh, the objective of that goal that you set yourself. The best way to do it is to buddy up with friends, family, anyone that want to do something similar to what you're trying to do. For me, I buddy up with a few friends. And also you, as a viewer, you are my accountability system too. Because I promise 
to you that I'm gonna do it and I have to keep my word. Otherwise, you won't trust me. When I think about yesterday. So after setting goal, deadline, work plan, body up or accountability, the last one is to stick with your plan. You know, the hardest thing is to stick with your plan because there will be a moment when things get harder. There will be a moment when you wake up in the morning, you don't want to really go to the gym, you don't want to practice any sport. And there will be a moment when you will try, you think that you work so hard, but you don't see any improvement, you don't see any change. And that is the moment where you need to hold into hope. And it's only hope that will save you. And you need to stick with your plan, stick with your project, and by the end, you will see a result. It might be three, it might be take three months, it may be taking a year, but you need to stick with it. So, I am going to the gym. Lay awake until the morning. So, if you like this video, so just smash the like button. If you want something to say, just put it in the comment box below. If you are here for the first time, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell next week. And then I will see you next time. Bye. Next time. Any change? Any improvement? Do you see any? Do you see any improvement? Any change? No? Not yet? It's too soon? Hmm? No? Well, next time, maybe too soon. Because I'm up higher and planes could take me. I have acquired everything I need. You set me up into a Just what I need